Hello everybody, I'm Avery. This is U Tutorials. Today's video, you wanna learn how to create a YouTube merchandise shelf. So when people go to your videos, they'll see your merchandise right below it. There are a few requirements that you have to meet in order to be able to do that. One is that you have to be a partner with YouTube. Next thing is that you gotta have 10,000 subscribers. And last thing, you still gotta be in good standing with YouTube. I know for some of you, you might be thinking that reaching those requirements might be a lot. It might take you a little bit of time to get there and you might be right. I'll talk about that later. Before I show you how to enable the merchandise shelf, I wanna make sure that you got merchandise that you can sell. YouTube only has two different companies that can enable the merchandise shelf right now. One is Spring and the other is Spread Shop. You don't have to make an account beforehand. You can just make it during the process of enabling the merchandise shelf, but you're still gonna need merchandise to put up there. So I would also like to say, you're gonna need some designs for your merchandise. And if you don't have any customized merchandise yet, you can go ahead and check out Placeit. On Placeit, you have plenty of different templates that you can use, that you can go ahead and customize, like shirts, mugs, posters. They even have mock-up images, so you can see exactly how your design would look on several different images that they have online. You can even download those mock-up images and put them on your website, you can put them on your videos. If you wanted to use Placeit for more than just your merchandise, you can also design end screens, thumbnails, intros, and more. So what I would do is check it out. You can find a link to that in the description box below. Now that I've gotten that out the way, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do from Creator Studio is I wanna go into the monetization tab. And then from the monetization tab, I want to click on merchandise tab. If you do not have the merchandise tab show up for you, you're gonna to wanna to talk to someone in support to understand why it hasn't shown up yet. I've had to talk to somebody before. It should be relatively simple for them to give you an answer. If there's a reason that you don't have the merchandise shelf and if there is no reason, then they'll go ahead and fix it for you. So after you get on the merchandise shelf, you can click get started. You can see that you'll have two options. One is Spread Shop and the other is Spring, formerly known as Teespring. I personally do not know that much about Spread Shop and I already have a store set up with Teespring. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on Teespring. I will say that at some point in time, I am going to make a comparison video between the two, but I'm going to go ahead and go to Spring and press continue. From here, I wanna just go ahead and scroll down and then accept the terms and conditions. Press accept. Now it says connect accounts. Since I do not have my store ID, I wanna click on get spring ID. From here, you can go ahead and sign up to have a Teespring store, or if you already have one like I do, you can go down to log in. From here, I had a bit of a problem because you can see right here, it says no store ID found, but this is where I'm supposed to find my store ID. So I ended up spending about 10 to 20 minutes trying to figure where am I supposed to find my store ID at. So ultimately what I ended up doing was restarting the process. And then once I got back onto Teespring, I was already signed in and then my store ID showed up. So what I'm thinking is if I would have just took a little bit of time, like maybe like two or three minutes or so, refreshed the page, my store ID would have showed up. So in case you end up having this same problem, I suggest you wait a little bit, then refresh the page. So now I can grab my store ID, copy it, go back into my other tab, and then paste in my store ID. And then I'll press connect. And now my Teespring store is connected to YouTube. Even though my store is connected, you still don't see any merchandise, but if you look over here at this text, it says that you're still gonna have to wait one to two days to let the merchandise show up. All right, so it's been a few days, been more than a few days, but you can see that I have this little stash right here. It says your merchandise is being organized automatically, 49 items available, and then I got organized here. So if you don't have this up here clicked on, then you're not gonna have anything being displayed on YouTube, so make sure that this is on. And then you can go over here to organize. If you click on organize, you can see that it says organize items. You can drag and drop stuff over here. 
or you can leave it empty and then YouTube will organize it automatically. But I don't want YouTube to organize it, I wanna do my own thing. So what I'm gonna do is start searching for certain items up here. And I want to put my like cup up here. So I got a like mug and all I'm gonna do is hold it and drag it over to the right. I got a recording mug that I want to bring over here as well. So let's go ahead and type that in. We got a recording shirt, recording mug. Bring that over. I'm gonna bring over this recording shirt as well. Bam. Take that out, clear it. Uh, and this is all you're gonna have to do is type whatever you need in and drag it and drop it over from the left to the right. And now I got a couple of these right here that I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop. Like this one right here, one with the white text, drag and drop. This one here, I'm gonna drag and drop. And I might have one more. Got six of 12, so I can put six more up over here. But honestly, this is all you have to do. And then once you're done putting all the display items up here, you can go ahead and press save. And that's it. If you want to take a look at your store, you can go down here to view store. And this will automatically open up another tab that will take you to your community store. And you can see that I have some things up here. This is what I have up here before, in which case it will take about one or two days for it to change. But in all honesty, I'm probably going to go ahead and make sure that I put the exact same thing back so it looks the exact same and leave it as that. So with that being said, you now know how to create your own merchandise shelf. I wanna also add that you can add merchandise into your end screens as well. Clicking on element, you'll see that you now have merchandise in this menu as well. All you have to do is click on it and then it will automatically add a merchandise picture over here. It will by default add one that it's think is best for the viewer. So you cannot change that, but you can change to whether it shows a hover card outline or not. So if you just want the image to show, then it can pop up just like that. Now you have to do is save it. So setting up the storefront for me was kind of a headache but I got through it and ultimately I think it was worth it. Uh, might be the same thing for you, it might not. You know, you might not have any of the problems I had. We'll see once you get there, right? So with all that being said, if you are somebody that still hasn't reached 10,000 subscribers yet, you still need to get some more subs, check out this video here. It'll show you how you can get more subs on YouTube and hey, if you're somebody that hasn't set up a storefront yet and you still need to figure out how to set up a storefront, you can check out this video here, especially if you are going to go with Teespring. And very soon, I will be doing a comparison between Spreadshop and Teespring and make sure you know which one I think is the better of the two. So with all that being said, hopefully you find this information useful. And if you did, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you can notify when new videos come out for me. I make new videos every week. Also, let me ask you a quick question. Which company do you like better? Spreadshop or Teespring? Let me know why in the comment section. Thanks for watching.